and welcome to the Veggie Kitchen. I'm your host, Ed, coming to you from Orange County, California, and now we're making up some falafels. I have started with the one box of falafel mix, went to the supermarket and bought this. I'm following the directions on the box. Actually, pretty close following the directions. It says add the contents to a bowl and add a cup of water. What I've done is added only about three quarters of a cup of water because I am going to add some vegetable pulp to the mix. It makes them nice and light and, and actually way tastier. So I've already got going on here some carrot and some onion and I'm adding a zucchini. It's one small carrot, one bit of onion, half of an onion, and one zucchini. If you follow the directions on the box, it comes out pretty good, but they're a little bit uh, hard. They get a little bit of tough. For example, you make them a little early. You're going to serve them an hour or two later on out for lunch. They're a little bit tough. Adding the vegetable matter makes them rise up real nice. Okay. So, I'm going to add this to this, and then let it all sit for a while per the directions. We'll be right back. When it comes back, I'll make up some falafel patties, put them in the oil, and we'll be starting, okay? VeggieKitchen.org Hi, welcome back. I'm making up the falafels. I let the mix sit for 10 minutes. I added the, added the water and I added the vegetable pulp. And now, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks really pretty. I've got the green and orange flecks coming through. That's from the carrot and the zucchini. And the texture is just how I want it. I'm using a little uh, tablespoon here, making little flat patties. Nice and moist. Enough, moist enough to stick together is what you want. I've got the oil heating up right here for a little deep frying. Great, delicious lunch. This is it. I've got four flat patties here. And now I'm going to put them in the oil. Actually, I'll test the oil, see if it's hot enough first. Put a little dab in and see where we stand here. Yeah, I got some sizzle. I think we're okay. Kick it up. It's a medium high heat we have going on. And I will lay them inside. They're essentially deep fried. I've got about an inch of oil in the wok. They'll cook for two to three minutes. I'll flip them over, do the same on the other side, drain them, and they'll be ready for the sandwiches. I'll let them cook. We'll be right back, okay? VeggieKitchen.org. The falafels are done. Actually, they fried for about a minute on each side. I did one minute on one side. I flipped them over. I drained them onto this plate here, and they're done. Look at this, nice golden brown. And I have some pita bread here, whole wheat pita bread. I'm going to put onto the bread some of the hummus from the first episode, the hummus episode. This is the red pepper and cilantro. Add a couple of the falafels. You can add a little lettuce, any kind of garnishes you want. Cucumber, tomato, really doesn't matter sandwich here. Also, if you can find pita, the place you find the pita, you might be able to find lavash. Lavash is cool. Look at this here. This is a Middle Eastern bread. Look at this. I'm going to cut this in little bits, actually pieces, heat them up and make some wraps, falafel wraps. You can do the same at home. So the falafel mix is easy to find in the supermarket and you can uh, embellish it or just make it a little bit more flavorful uh, by adding the vegetable pulp which I showed you. So I hope you'll try this along with the hummus recipes we showed you in the prior episode, okay? This is The Veggie Kitchen. As always, you can subscribe to us on iTunes. Just search for The Veggie Kitchen. We thank you so much for watching. See you soon.